Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with some Major League Baseball news. Today, of course, is July 1st, 2020. So, what baseball is calling summer camp has opened. So, all the teams are reporting, I assume, to their home stadiums because we are now in the middle of summer. So there is no um, cold spot in the country. So teams can work out, get ready for the season in their own stadiums, no matter where they are, Chicago, Toronto, well, probably Toronto. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, um, warm enough for them all to report to their own stadiums and work out in their own areas. So, uh, that's what's going on um, right now as far as, you know, the, um, the summer camps. So, um, I think the teams, the plan is for the summer camp time from now until July 23rd is that they're just going to work out. They're going to do intra-squad games. They're going to play against, you know, whatever teams in their minor leagues maybe local college teams or something, but they're not going to, uh, I don't think the plan is for them to play against other teams, although some teams could do that, like the New York Mets could play the New York Yankees, the Chicago White Sox could play against the Chicago Cubs. They're both, you know, um, both sets of those teams are in the same cities. So that wouldn't be too difficult, although that there's still a risk, an undue risk of spreading, you know, the, the uh, virus um, where you don't have to take that risk, you know, and if you don't have to take it, don't do it. So I don't know. I don't know if they'll do that. So anyway, uh, we got some players sitting out that have decided to sit out 2020. There's probably more than this. This is just the few that I've heard about, the higher profile ones. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? For the Nationals, Ryan Zimmerman and Joe Ross will both be sitting out. Zimmerman because he has a, uh, his wife is pregnant, so he has a baby on the way. Doesn't want to risk anything. He's near the end of his career anyway, and he could actually retire if he wanted to. Um, and Joe Ross, just because I, I guess whatever family concerns, so they're sitting out. Uh, Mike Leake is sitting out. I think he also has a pregnant wife um, or health concerns, maybe health concerns in his case. But anyway, he's sitting out. And also Ian Desmond is sitting out. I think his wife is pregnant too. Um, and in the case of these, most of these, um, the pregnant wife is not really, um, I mean, I don't know if they'll get paid because I don't know if that's one of the uh, reasons, the acceptable reasons. Like I know if you're recovering from an illness, a serious illness like um, Carrasco on the Indians, he's probably not playing, but he's recovering from cancer. So. He has a what uh, baseball would accept as a reason to sit out and still get his prorated paycheck. But I don't know if someone who just, you know, has a baby on the way is falls under that um, heading. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. In Ryan Zimmerman's case, he's made a lot of money over his career. He probably doesn't need it. And then, of course, the other thing to consider is it's only a 60-game season with a prorated salary. So, you know, if your salary was a million dollars a year, you're not getting a million dollars this year. You're getting 600000 even if you play every game. Or, no, actually less than that. It's about a third of a season, so you're only getting like 300000 So, I mean, it's actually a little more than that, maybe 400, but the point is you're not getting your full salary. So some of them are considering that, hey, this isn't really worth whatever, one third or 40% of my usual pay for me to go through these potential health risks. So that's where we are with that. Uh, the Rockies will replace Desmond on their roster with Matt Kemp, 
the aging Matt Kemp. However, it remains to be seen how he could do at Coors Field. Perhaps he could have a little resurgence, a little uptick in his numbers playing in Coors. Uh, the Yankees have signed infielder Matt Duffy, who used to be on the Tampa Bay Rays and is severely injury prone, but we'll see how that goes and how the Yankees even want to use him. Although with a 42, and I've heard even 60 man uh, roster of players that you can draw from, it wouldn't hurt to have Duffy making that list. And then if there's an injury at third base or the infield, They've got him to draw on. The Mets have actually also si um, signed Melky Cabrera and Hunter Strickland. And the Kansas City Royals have invited their newly drafted Bobby Witt Jr. to summer camp. Much in the same way as the White Sox will have, um, will have Andrew Vaughn in, in camp and probably as part of their 40-man or whatever it is, 60-man roster. Um, the A's have traded the number seven prospect in their system, Orj Mateo, to San Diego for a player to be named later. So there's even trades going on. So we're really getting back into the swing, people. Baseball is back. It's getting into the swing. It's getting serious now. Um, the 2020 minor league season has officially been canceled. I mean, I think I said in my previous video that there would be no minor league games. That was probably before the official cancellation, but it has now officially been canceled. So there will, as we knew, not be any minor league games this year. Um, and we have, I've seen for you White Sox fans who I know follow me uh, quite a bit. The projected White Sox starters, and there's six of them, would be um, Giolito, Keuchel, Lopez, Cease, Kopech, and Rodon. So there is no Gio Gonzalez in there. I'm not sure what happened to him. Maybe they would put him in the bullpen as a long reliever. I mean, if you've got Kopech and um, Rodon is back, then, you know. And so this also confirms that, um, as I said, that I expected Rodon to be back for the White Sox very quickly, and it looks like he is. It looks like his recovery from Tommy John has been complete. Now, whether or not he will be the same Rodon that he was, and really, the Rodon that he was, was at times questionable. I mean, he wasn't always good, he was inconsistent. So, um, even getting back a full 100% uh, Rodon from before isn't necessarily the greatest thing, so we'll have to see how he does. He has to also now improve on top of being free of the uh, recovery from the surgery. So um, that's that, and now we also are hearing, and this goes along with, with what's uh, been happening in the news in the country in general, that the MVP award has the face and name of the first commissioner of baseball, Kennesaw Mountain Landis on it, and many former MVPs are asking that that be removed, that he be removed from the trophy or from the award since he was widely regarded to be racist and he absolutely did um, hold up on uh, integration of baseball and set baseball back decades because he refused to integrate the game. So the, um, I, yeah, I think that's uh, a absolutely justified. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. You're not trying to wipe out history. You're not trying to say that Landis was never the commissioner of baseball. You're not trying to do anything like that. You're just saying, hey, this is an award that's given to players, in many cases African-American players who win the MVP award, and it's just not proper or necessary for his name and likeness to be on the award. 
So I 100% um, agree with that move. So that's my news. That's my baseball news right now that we have on the first day of summer camp. Uh, what do you guys hear out there? Anything uh, that you've hear, heard from your own teams? Uh, anything you want to add? Leave it in the comments and um, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I highly recommend it because I will be coming out with baseball and Chicago White Sox content all during the season up through the World Series and really even after that, especially since uh, the offseason this year will be very critical since we'll need to see whether everything can go back to normal or close to normal or how close to normal it can go back to. So, um, yeah. So leave a comment, let me know um, anything I left out that you think is important, anything that went down uh, that you think I should have mentioned that I may have missed because I am human, I will miss things, I will get information wrong. So, but right now that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.